Are you ready for a change? Are you ready for your life to turn around? Are you ready for things to happen to bring you great success, to see your dreams and visions come to pass? Then you are at the right place at the right time, listening to the Julie Tussie Show podcast. Welcome. And while you're here, please subscribe and leave us a good review. Also, let your friends and family know about the Julie Tussie Show. Wow, thank you so much, you all. Welcome to the Julie Tussie Show podcast and the simulcast for YouTube, uh, Facebook, Instagram, everywhere we can get this program. We're going to take it because we are preaching the word of God. We are sharing the good news. You know, it's a great time in history to be alive, and I'm so glad to be a part of this. We've had a lot of exciting things going on, and I want to remind those of you that are following us on social media, you can follow the Julie Tussie Show fan page. You can follow um, the Grace Girls and Company. That's our women's ministry here. You can follow, uh, let's see, Gary and Julie Tussie Music. Music, yeah, that's a page. There's so many. We've been doing outreach for so long. There's so many. So you can go over there. And I also just started a private group called You Darling Are Worth the Fight. If you uh, if you search that on Facebook, you'll find it. You Darling Are Worth the Fight. I wrote a book called You Darling Are Worth the Fight. Lose weight and thrive like a boss through perimenopause and menopause. And now listen, don't let that title stop you from getting the book. There's so much great information in there for women and dealing with how our life changes after 30. Okay, so go and get that book on Amazon or reach out to us at TussieOnline.com. Leave us your email and let us know you're interested in a book. We'll get that to you. So we started the 75 Strong Challenge. And what that is is 75 days of strong things. I'll just I'm just going to read it off to you real quick. Seven habits that we're doing excuse me, seven habits that we're doing daily. Number one, praying, listening, and journaling for 15 minutes. Did you know when you pray, it's a two-way street? (laughs) It's not just a, oh, God, help me uh, most of the time. Now, you can have that occasionally, but you need to pray, speak with the Lord, commune with him all day long, every day, and take that 15 minutes of dedicated time during your 75 strong and listen to what he has to say to you and write it down. Boy, has that changed my life. Number two, we're going to read 10 pages of You Darling Are Worth a Fight or an encouraging book if you've already read that. Of course, I want you to read the book that the Lord gave to me for you to read and um, to share my story. I share my story, but there's so much faith in this book. It's amazing. Number three, count your calories and eat more whole foods. Now, most of the people, most of the women that I'm... um, in this group and in my circle are trying to lose weight, but I'm sure there's some of you that are trying to get healthier. Your weight is fine. You just want to be healthier or you want to gain weight even. This this book and this 75 Strong will help you. So we're going to count our calories, whether you need more or less, and we're going to eat more whole foods. And we're going to use My Fitness Pal for free if you want or WW, whatever program you're doing, this will work with. But uh, we can become friends on My Fitness Pal. Going to drink a half gallon of water a day. My goal is a gallon of water a day, but it seems to me that I live in the bathroom if I do that. So a half gallon is where I'm starting. And they say you should drink half of your body weight in ounces. So if you weigh 200 pounds, you drink 100 ounces, etc., etc. Number five, we're going to cut out the sugar. Now, you need to read the book because I'm not talking about cold turkey and I'm not talking about uh, being so micromanaging of it. It's really cool the way that I lost 30 pounds through I'm telling you through the worst part of perimenopause and into menopause. Six, we're going to work on intermittent fasting. Don't let that freak you out either. A lot of people are like, ah, I can't fast. I can't fast. I can't fast at all, but I can do intermittent fasting. And in the book, I teach you several different ways to incorporate this into your life. And it, it raises some chemistry in your body that you need raised to lose more weight and be healthier. So you'll want to read about that. And number seven, we're going to speak our daily words of affirmation. So you're saying, Julie, where can I get this list along with these 75 affirmations that I created? do like I live God's plan my heart is full I have no fear I am successful 
I walk in grace and mercy. I love these affirmations. Sometimes it's hard to think of your own. So they're here. You go to TussieOnline.com. They're right on the front page. You just stroll, scroll down a little bit and then you'll see them free downloads. You all free downloads. Love it. Love it. Love it. So today I want to talk about a great subject. You know, the Lord started dealing with me about 2022. He actually dealt with me about 2021 and 2020. And I, it's really cool how when the Lord gives you a word, it comes to pass. You can go back in your app and listen to like the January issues of the Julie Tussie show and see how much that the Lord has shown us and it has come to pass already. So in 2022, I was talking about the Lord started talking to me about a few things that we need to do. 2022 is a year for you. 2020 and 2021 had some great things in it, but had some pretty tough things in it. We've, we've dealt with a situation in a, a, in our society, in our world, in our, not just our country, but our world with the pandemic. We've dealt with things and it may seem like you were limited, but the Lord's telling me that 2022 is a year for you. It's a year for you to break out and to have breakout and to have success. And of course, this podcast is an encouragement to women, men also. We have about 25% male following, which is great. Men need to be educated about the things women deal with. And and sometimes you can even glean, you know, the word is the word is the word, right? <laughs> so we'll be talking about many, many things that are an encouragement to you. And this podcast is designed as a lifestyle podcast to help um, women become high achievers and successful in life, whether you're staying home with your four kids or your two kids or however many you have. I myself have raised two sets of twins to almost 12 years apart. Yes, I've been doing the mom thing for many, many years, but I'm still 30, wink, wink. <laughs> but we're we're in the business of helping you to be successful because of the word of God. So last podcast I hit on, Some of my notes were um, made for more. We have to realize we have to purpose. And if you follow me on social media, you'll see these posts on the Julie Tussie Show fan page. Made for more. We have to recognize that we're made for more. Number two, we have to live more purposefully. If we are not purposeful and taking action, but instead always having reaction, we can become a victim. And we are not created to be a victim. Number three, we're going to see a lot more Holy Ghost and fire, a lot more of that. And I'm going to do a lot of teaching on that. Number four was we are going to a new level. Do you want to stay where you are? I do not want to stay where I am. I do not like where I am in 2021. Have I found success? Yes. But are there things that I could see that God could do to level up? Absolutely. Do you want that? I am a high achieving woman. I am ambitious. That is not a sinful word, you all. That is not a sinful word. And if you have a dream and vision in your heart, and we've taught you many, many different ways and different podcasts on the Julie Tussie Show, how to get your dreams back, how to have vision within yourself, how to start your business, how to start your ministry, how to be that th- that woman that God created you to be or that man, and how to do what God created you to do. This is what this whole podcast is about. Um, But if you want to level up, this is your podcast and your television program. This is the program for you, the Julie Tussie Show. Then let's see. It said, oh, this note is good. I have to read it to you. Look for and expect greatness. Look for and expect greatness. Then the Lord showed me that the Holy Spirit is amping up the move of the Holy Spirit, revival, revival, fire, Holy Ghost and fire. You're going to see God amping up and reaching his people because when the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of God raises up a standard and he will not allow the enemy to destroy us. He will not allow that. So I'm going to be talking about that. I was talking also about the uh, the uh that we're going to have to speak to the mountains and take our authority and receive what God has for us. Yes, I'm talking about that. I am talking about that because it is time. It is time for that. Um, 
Mark 11, 23 and 24 says, speak to the mountain to be removed and it will be cast into the sea. And so I hit on that in the last podcast. Now, today I'm going to start a I'm going to start a series and I'm going to deal with each of these. And the series is going to be called Understanding Your Assignment. Recognizing what God has called you to do. Stop in your tracks and let the Father show you what it is he wants you to do because you're valuable, you're precious, you're important. And he has a call on your life in some capacity. Every Christian, every Christian, if you are a Christian and listening to me right now, you are called to the ministry of reconciliation. Well, what's that mean, Julie? (laughs) What that means is to reconcile people to Jesus. It's easy. You can do it by baking a cake and taking it to the neighbor and loving on them with your mask on. You can uh, you can do it by um, raising your children to love Jesus and sharing with the other mothers at playtime. You can do this with your social media. You can become a social influencer and you can reach people with the word of God and change their lives. You can have a platform as big as the world or as small as your living room and kitchen. It's that simple to be in the ministry of reconciliation. Then some are called to do more, right? Some are called to do more, but it's all about obedience to what he's got you, what he's got for you. So recognizing your divine assignment. Um, The first thing we're going to talk about today is made for more, made for more. And I have a few scriptures I want to talk to you about. Let me pull them back up. We'll be right back after these special messages. Only on the Julie Tussie Show are you going to hear that you are not created to be ordinary but extraordinary. You are not created to be common but uncommon. You are not created to be average but above average. You are not created to be tolerable or passable. No, but you are created to be remarkable, noteworthy, impressive, striking, outstanding, brilliant, excellent, superb, praiseworthy. We could go on and on about how awesome you are. Are you struggling to lose weight? Are you over 30? Are you having night sweats, hot flashes, brain fatigue, brain fog? Do you just not feel like yourself or maybe you a little ornery? I have been there and have I got the book for you. This is called You Darling Are Worth the Fight. Lose Weight and Thrive Like a Boss Through Perimenopause and Menopause. It is a must read for every woman. Not only is it funny and insightful, I have studied this subject for 30 years and I have a lot of great information and great products for you to take your life back and I share exactly what I did to lose 30 pounds in the throes of perimenopause and going into menopause. (laughs) If I can do it, you can do it. All you have to do is go to TussieOnline.com and order yours there. You can also get it at Amazon. So you, darling, are worth the fight. Lose weight and thrive like a boss through perimenopause and menopause. Reach out to me at the Julie Tussie Show at gmail.com and make sure you order for your friends too because this is one life-changing and powerful book. I want to take a minute to say thank you so much to our supporters, underwriters, sponsors, those of you that give to our nonprofit corporation, The Voice Incorporated. If you'd like to partner or give a one-time offering today, please go to TussieOnline.com and look for the donate button. You can also give at the Cash App. That's the cash symbol sign with The Voice INC and on Venmo, The Voice INC. And now, back to the Julie Tessie Show. So there's many, many scriptures in the word that teach you that you are made for so much more. Do you know how easy it is to be lackadaisical and to just go along with life. I don't want to go along with life. I don't want to. And I have found myself in these positions. I have been given dreams and visions from the Lord when I was uh, saved at 12, called into the ministry at 17. 
and began writing and recording music. I wrote my first song and and charted it, believe it or not, can't do that anymore because I was in band in the fifth grade. But in the fifth grade, I wrote my first song and it was about the Lord. And I don't remember a time in my life where I wasn't hungry for him. But I fulfilled much of that. All right, let's just get straight. I am not 30. <laughs> Thank you, Lord.